with Food Imposters. So today um, we're going to discuss our favorite. We even have another co-host here. A detective. A detective who will tell us which protein I'm is the, better. I'm the table detective. <laughs> the under table. <laughs> So we're talking about all about protein, right? So we're going to discuss what does um, 20, roughly about 27 grams, between 25 and 27 grams of protein, what it looks like in different foods um, and different protein sources. So a lot of times what we hear is nuts and nut butters are considered a protein source and they're considered a great protein source. But I don't think people understand how much they have to consume in order to get an adequate portion of, or amount of protein. As well as the plant protein sources for all the um, vegetarians uh, that are trying to consume the um, adequate amount of protein for their uh, body, how much, uh, what price they pay for the same amount of protein that made, um, I'm not even sure how it's made. I mean, I want to know how it's made. I don't think it's we're, made we're out of about, anything I want to know. Yes. But it, it's just not, not, it's the, not the health. It's the fake meat. The fake meat. Or the plant-based meat. Fake meat for fake people. Fake meat for fake people. Well, no. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I'm not going to go into that. Um, yes. So, the, the, how much you're willing, of calories you're willing to pay, basically, of your budget you're willing to pay to get 27 grams of protein. All right, so we're gonna start off. We've got With my favorite. one, two, one, two, three, four, five. We got five choices for you. So here we go. So here we go. We've got all of these wonderful array of foods. As you can see, nuts, chicken. This is not the sure plant-based ground beef. The dog, tuna the dog and, ran away from this. <laughs> and yogurt. So we're gonna start off with chicken, basic chicken. 4.1 ounces of chicken, cooked chicken, Delicious. chicken breast. Chicken, chicken breast. breast. Juicy. Succulent. Suc <laughs> Juicy, succulent. Not pumped with any filters or not, fillers. <laughs> no. And I, I don't know if it's organic or not, but it, Definitely it, not is, organic. It, it doesn't make a difference. Don't spend your money. Do not spend your money for any organic. If you have extra money to spend, you know, hit the comment below and get the private nutrition consultation. So don't spend the money. All right. Anyway, this is a fantastic source of protein. If you ask me, it's amazing. 27 grams of protein, 156 calories. Okay. Very little fat. Yep. Okay. So we actually measured this out. This is my four, favorite. 4.1 grams cooked. Um, I, it's probably measured. a little less because I ate a bite. All right. Next one. Where are we going? Let's do, oh, let's go to the Beyond Beef plant-based protein. So, Can I go throw up? No, no, yeah, hold on. So this is 20 grams of protein, of plant protein per serving. Says no, you know, the no soy, no gluten, and it's great, I guess, if you are a vegetarian. However, um, let's kind of just discuss on calorie-wise what we're looking at. So if you can actually look at the nutrition label, it says it's 260 calories for four ounces, okay? Why wouldn't you call Four it? ounces is 20 grams. To make it equate to roughly a chicken breast, we needed to add a little bit more protein. So we did some math for you, and it's to get 25 grams of protein out of this, which would be five ounces, it would cost you 325 calories. You can eat like two and a half chicken breasts. and Which, by the way, no gluten, no soy. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you know FYI, what? No gluten, no soy. You know what? Soy. I think we need to create a chicken company. No gluten, no, no soy. <laughs> I love it. A natural in. chicken company, right? Okay. All right, just so so here we go. Apples to apples here. Next is tuna fish. Super awesome. By the way, this is so portable. Like you can take this, and I guess if you have a can opener in your car, you can, and you can, open you it. can eat it on a trail. On a trail <laughs> instead of the trail mix. But you gotta carry an opener with you. Yeah. All right. I guess there's ways to open it. We 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 we'll, we'll have to um, investigate on this one. So anyway, this whole can of tuna right here, which is six ounces. 140 calories, so it's actually a little bit even less than the chicken. Right. And you get more protein, 33 grams of protein. So, such a fantastic alternative yes. for protein, right? All right, yes. where are we going next? You want to do you, yogurts? No, it's your favorite. You can All right, I do like yogurt. So, I picked the light and fit yogurts. These are actually on the pretty healthy side of yes. yogurts. You get 80 calories um, per this entire container. Each container is about five. 0.3 ounces 
and you also get uh, 12 grams of protein. So if you eat two of these wonderful yogurts, as notated, it is going to be 160 calories and 24 grams of protein. So equating chicken to yogurt and to the tuna, not bad. Plant, bit, plant meat, pretty high in calories. So here we go. We're going to go to the most interesting part here, which is nuts. Nuts. This time you didn't. You're not talking about small, big, no. bigger, smaller. <laughs> because it doesn't look. It looks like a little bird poop. Little bird poops. Okay. But I mean, listen. I mean, there's there are a lot of there's a lot of benefits to nuts. It does have uh, some healthy fats. Yes. Plenty of it. Yes. It has vitamins, I believe. Yep. Um, it is. It does have protein, but as you told me, and you're absolutely correct, it's really not a full protein. No. So with this nuts, this is what we're going to show you. Is One this is considered? Uh, this is an actual serving size because they came in serving sizes yes. here. So if you can see, this one serving size is 260 calories, 23 grams of fat, and of course you're getting only nine grams of protein per little pack. Per, per little one pack. pack. So in order to match a wonderful chicken, chicken or tuna, yogurt, tuna, or yogurt, in the amount of protein. Can you I tell get you something? In. Even Plant-based, hey, 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 even plant-based, okay, man. I cannot sell my soul to devil about that. But when, I, I, when something cannot be identified as food, I cannot, I, I just cannot talk about eating it. Because whatever is in it, I, I've never heard of it. All right. Okay, so nuts. nuts. Right? Three of this. You have to eat three of this to get... 27 grams of protein three which is 780 80 calories. calories you know what they could have eaten the damn cauliflower pizza that's right or a big mac uh with french fries and a real coke um, yeah yeah probably have to small, choose a lot for no, probably it's a small fry right. small real coke and a a big mac for the yeah 780 or calories three of this or three of this so we're not saying and we're not discrediting that you know nuts are bad right it's the the reason why we are doing this is for you to understand that if the reason you're eating nuts is for the protein source, don't eat it. You're you're doing yourself a disservice. What if people are eating it as like emotional food because they just broke up with someone? They and it's an emotional. Can I thing. tell you something? For seven hundred eighty calories, you know how much ice cream you can eat. That's I don't right. think you can even eat that much ice cream. Who is gonna <laughs> eat emotionally this? Are you gonna emotionally eat this? I don't think so. Maybe the chicken, chicken. If it's covered in chocolate. <laughs> but anyway, so, I mean, don't eat the nuts for protein. You're right. And don't eat the Beyond Beef for, for protein. <laughs> Unless you are a vegetarian and you are actually in need of protein sources, fine. Eat yogurt. But you know, well, yeah, you can eat yogurt unless they're vegan. But even if they're vegan, I'm not even sure if they're going to be eating um, something like this. So we're not discrediting vegans, vegetarians, or meat eaters. Just understand what you're consuming. Do your due diligence in understanding nutrition labels, understanding how much of what you're eating, and um, you'll be in way better shape, right, in picking choices. So what's your choice? Knowledge is power. There you go. Thank you.